Okay. <laughs> Welcome to One Message in a Bottle of Tarot. My name is Juan and I am your spiritual advisor. Hello and welcome back to all my beautiful messengers all around the world. In your respective places, I appreciate and love you so very much for every single thing that you do. Number one, liking my videos, subscribing to my channel and sharing my content, connecting with me in the comments because I love to hear from you. All the love tips and donations, I thank you so, so much helping my channel to grow and keep things thriving uh patreon members and personal clients amen hallelujah if you're new here you're more than welcome to stay and join the gang we definitely love to have you here so subscribe if you like or if you want to show general support uh give me a thumbs up hit the like button all right divine feminine let's get to you when you had a couple of days it's been some days honey okay like lord okay uh but i feel like we know what it is i feel like we know what it is here with this uh king keys on the ring all right um never let nobody keep you as an option i don't care who it is okay uh what place they have in your life all right um, that's on that, but yes, uh, give me the energy surrounding Divine Feminine, May 2022, okay, it's hard times, I know a lot of women are very emotional, uh, charged times right now, okay, and I'm also proud of you, uh, proud of those of you who have been balancing, those of you who have been putting out the proper inter, uh, information um, on social media and doing everything you can to ground and keep every uh, all the feminine censored and the healers and you know just people that are doing God's work all right all right divine feminine let's see uh, let's pull some love oracles and check on the love energy in general in your life. Give me two for how are you feeling about your person. Oh, yeah. Um, your person a little overbearing. Okay, I don't, I don't feel like you can't even get an edge. Uh, I feel like you can't even get an edge, and uh, you can't even get your feelings across before they're already talking about whatever uh they want to talk about. But again, uh, I feel like you know this person is thinking um about you. All right. Maybe an intense energy to where, um, I don't know, you're trying to uh, heal and move on. Um, but again, they're making um, their wants, their needs, their desires. You may not even be in communication. You could be in separation with them, but you just feel it. You feel them. You feel the energy just trying to block your um, healing, your ability to move forward and let go. As soon as you start going out, looking good, going with your friends progressing getting better doing better eating better all this and then you know all of a sudden the song comes on or you you see whatever and you know you're uh, back down memory lane yeah but i feel like that's more them than you uh divine feminine i feel like you are determined to heal and move forward but the uh energy surrounding you of people who don't want to move forward who want to keep you in the past who want to keep you attached like to the pain to the burden or whatever they're fighting tooth and nail because i feel like they definitely they definitely feel you slipping away uh day by day their grip their power their ability to influence sway manipulate all i feel like a lot of feminists are just uh done okay lover a uh, friend family whoever okay and because they can feel you really standing in your power and your autonomy um that's why you feel all of that uh energy so again make sure you're doing your cleansing sending your prayers and really having high discernment on who energy belongs to who not everything you think see or feel necessarily belongs to you ask about uh, the source okay now if it's you uh, of course honor your feelings but again uh, examine everything especially uh in these days to come uh, the scorpio energy is the energy 
of uh, death, rebirth, and transformation. And I feel like you are doing just that. You are shedding your skin, all right, and, and shedding, chopping the head off snakes, okay? So um, look out for that, all right? If your partner has addictions, all right? Um, I said this a long time ago, but I'm going to spin the block and say this again, especially for those of you that are in soul connections or twin flame connections and you have one that is not quite on the path and maybe they do have various addictions to whatever, could be drugs, could be sex, could be uh, work, anything, okay? Um, and that person, they're uh, really fighting against uh, releasing those energetic cords. So you will find, um, you know, with depending on how strong the cord is, again, if they're heavy in addiction, then you might find yourself uh, drinking or smoking or, or whatever, it, or whatever it is. If they're shopping, you know, and this person likes you, you may find yourself. You know, it depends on how strong the cord is so definitely do your cleansing and just know again you may very well be missing them or it could just be uh their energy and their resistance to you moving on to you moving forward all right so let's uh see how you feel about this person yeah i know what the fuck i'm talking about yep um not today i just said not communication you don't want nothing to do with them you don't know, you don't want nothing to do with them. Not dealing with the hurt, avoiding the conversation, the call, the person, and boundaries. Still very, very, very fucking angry. I also uh, tweeted over the weekend. I was like, you know, don't violate your, uh, don't violate your own boundaries just so you can see something because ninety nine percent of the time, whatever you saw the first time was what you needed to see. All right, I had a lesson with that. Um, with this uh, again, this energy uh, coming up, Mercury retrograde. Um, and the lunar eclipse energy and set a boundary somewhere and went back. I was like, well, let me see, because what people will do is they will know about your good spirit. They will know what your, uh, your kind natured, good heart and all that. And especially those that are extremely manipulative or whatever, but it's always, well, you know, I can't get a hold of you. What if something happened or I need to tell you something or I need to whatever, whatever. And you find them like, okay, well, let me, uh, just see what's going on or, you know, cause I don't want it to be said that, you know, I was being an asshole or, or whatever when they were trying to reach out. And then when you finally do, uh, reach out, you realize divine feminine that this person ain't changed, that nigga ain't changed, that girl, whatever, whoever this is. All right. Um, ain't changed still on the same shit. And you're just like, uh, damn, here I go again. But, the good thing I can say um, about that, the light at the end of the tunnel is like, well, at least, you know, and you could put that to bed like once and fucking uh, for all. OK, you set a boundary and that boundary is set for a reason with that particular person or those particular people. Uh, go ahead and um, honor that and honor your feelings. People will try to make you feel crazy, especially if they're not trying to apologize or move forward. And they just want to keep the cycle going all right you are definitely on the right track and um again not today not communicating with these people okay uh the sword and the rose okay this is also the sword of truth here you are the road clarity okay you ain't crazy dealing with narcissists or whoever this is truth revelation you saw what you saw you heard what you heard you understood what you understood the first time regarding these people and whatever they did um to you or this person solidarity but i feel like that's being solid with yourself all right standing up for yourself uh force enforcing your boundaries meaning what you say honor honoring your heart uh honoring also your pain honoring your trauma and um you know because I, I was just saying i said man you know the worst type of dick the worst type of dick uh, or love is a motherfucker that you know their energy so strong. It's like they'll have you apologizing for shit they fucking did. <laughs> like, why am I apologizing for what the fuck? You know, why do I feel like, uh, for what the fuck you did? Why do I feel like, sure, I need to be all uh weird? Like, people are just very, it's, it's the energy is very insidious and very just 
yucky you know what I'm saying but yes honor yourself honor your feelings protect yourself all right and stand in your power all right uh, and a lot of you understand that keeping um, your power protecting yourself all right after you've discovered whatever you discovered about this person all right you do that by uh, keeping those boundaries and not engaging with them um, at all mirror okay I saw mirror twice you and this person are these people are marrying each other self image relationship reflecting over old wounds uh introspection of this lunar energy is a t uh, is a time period where it will focus heavily on your relationships and what you allow what you shouldn't um allow what hurts why it hurts uh what's the source of that and you know are you going to continue uh to deal with that or are you going to be done for uh that final time okay so in these connections um that you entertain you know you know they're bad for your mental health your physical health your overall just uh whatever okay There's that saying that's like uh, when you when God knows it's time for you to release somebody and you don't release them, he'll make them keep hurting you so bad until you hate them. And it's just like, you know, damn, it can really get to that point. Like, I don't fucking ever want to see uh, you again, period. All right. But I also heard um, recently on um, the piggyback off of that, that was like, well, if you hate me, you're uh, you're exerting an energy, you're, you're exerting an emotion, too. So if you're not going to love me, then I, then hate me is just as well, because at least you're thinking about me. So it's like it's better that the, that a motherfucker really just be a black hole. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do they exist or don't they? like they say they exist? Well, I ain't never seen one personally, so nah, you know what I mean? Like, or deal with people like they are a black hole, like uh, everything, they uh, suck energy, all that. But yeah, so it's just like love or hate or just nothing, okay? It's giving heavy uh, gray rock energy. Like, I don't like like nothing, okay? A void, a space, a black hole. They become a black hole of, of nothingness, okay, to where they get... Uh, no type of energy and understanding that that is the type of energy that they themselves um hold but it's nothing for you to um to love or to hate uh just just nothing and my fucking ceases to uh be you feel no type of way you feel like nothing okay all right so that's how you feel about this person how's this person feel about you divine feminine 12 in Right. Yeah, they know they fucked up, man. Uh, they know they fucked up, and so now they're chasing you, but they they still not gonna do right here. They still well, at least in my case, yeah, S and the S. Uh, you chopping the head off the uh off the snake here, stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. But they feel like you standing up for yourself is stabbing them in the back. They feel like you setting up boundaries is stabbing them in the back even though they are the root of the betrayal here and so now they are the ones chasing you chaser in a codependent relationship they're codependent on your love they're codependent on your affections they're codependent on you know the energy that you give them you are a source like for a vampire but that's that's it is is nothing beyond um uh, the selfish needs that uh, they have here, okay? Uh, that's the only reason that they're chasing you here, okay? Relationship fear of um, abandonment, fear of not having you in to be that source or whatever it is that, uh, that fix that you provide for this person, okay? Uh, they understand why you don't want to talk to them. They understand why you set the boundaries, even though they claim they don't. They do, okay? They do, and they're chasing you. Some some are chasing you. Uh, again, is what I found out just to see if they're able to do, do the same shit again. <laughs> Literally, they don't want shit. All right, so when they call, trust me, they don't want shit. All right, let them leave a message or whatever. They just want to see, uh, will... Uh, you allow them access so they could uh, stab you in the back uh, again. They chasing you to do uh, the same shit. I don't know why. Okay. And I can tell you why. 
Yeah, that song. Somebody put that song in the comments, okay? That's a clarifying song for this. I don't even think they know why the fuck they do what they do, all right? But you, uh, you're, I feel like you're running and they're gonna chase, all right? But, uh, be firm and stand on your shit and protect yourself, okay? They will claim they're uh, chasing you or they want to, they're pursuing you to make things right, but you have uh, every reason to move in the opposite direction because of what they've done. All right, so give me your current energy for Divine Feminine. Current energy for Divine Feminine. You have a lot of people that want your attention. I could tell you that. Uh, they're not your type, though. A lot of these people are really into themselves. Uh, some of these people are infantile or immature in their way of thinking here. Yeah. Like, can I fucking help you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Can I fucking uh, help you? Like, what the what what do you want? What the fuck do you want? Is what this card is giving. Now, what the fuck do you want? Why are you calling me? Why are you bothering? Why are you even here? Okay, is what that's giving. All right, give me that energy back towards you here. Excuse me. Like, yes, I don't think I heard you correctly here. Or did I hear you? Uh, correctly, the fact that you're still on this bullshit operating at this uh, level of thinking here. Yeah, and this motherfucker playing crazy here. Like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I didn't do that, or did I? Okay, or did you do it? Or was it your fault? This this type of manipulative motherfucker, they know exactly what the fuck uh, they be doing, okay? Seriously, motherfucker will look you in your eye and play fucking crazy. They know exactly. Okay, this person knows exactly what they're doing, but they feel like they can smooth or suave or, or or whatever they're out of it. But I feel like you're done. You're done to the point like I will sushami your dick up. Like you, you're. I feel like you're at the point like you're really uh, done here uh, with this person and their bullshit. Um, but they feel like they can manipulate their way back into you. Give me the status for Divine Feminine here. With this energy. Like, are you fucking kidding me? What are you doing here? Somebody might show up to your job too. Alright, I do a pop-up visit. And you're looking at them like, why the fuck are you here? You know I don't fuck with you. Here. And somebody pull up and you're literally like, uh, why? Like, you know I don't. You know for a fact I don't fuck with you. Thinking about the girl from college who was breastfed and just, yeah, like somebody, for some of you, um, women here that are older, are, are, there's an age gap, all right, in your relationship. A lot of these, or some of these masculines are uh, out and out like mama's boys, quote unquote mama's boys, okay? Uh, want you for your business, want you for your money, or even if you're in school or, or whatever, um, you have somebody that's dating you for association because of your potential, whatever it is that you have. I, I don't give a fuck what it is. They're, uh, they only want to, uh, get near you or get close to you because of, um, what you bring, uh, what you bring to the table here. Okay. The, uh, this person may have been coddled their entire life by uh, their mother or just their family in general, okay? This person is used to, uh, it's a masculine, all right? This person is used to being taken care of by a feminine one. Like, what do, you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? My phone bill is due. What do you mean you're not going to, oh, whatever, okay? Clarify this stabbed in the back.
clarify the stab in the back and chase right here. Yeah, some of these masked ones or these men you're dating are only with you uh, for this particular crowd here for financial reasons here. You probably know that. Maybe you cut them off finally, but uh, they not leaving without a fight here. Found a turtle thinking about that. Yeah, this person, uh, this person is very, very uh, immature. This person thinks that everything is a joke. Okay, um, you probably tell this person that they're immature all the time, or just uh, emotionally stunted. Their way of thinking, their way of um, operating, being in life, just a goofy uh, type of energy. And again, this person that doesn't take. Uh, seriously your feelings or their offenses or what that you know uh like a child okay a child may do some shit i mean some children are <laughs> manipulative but most of them you know when they do some shit or they fuck like they don't know no fucking better but it's like motherfucker you grown okay uh either you know exactly what you're doing or you don't know what you're doing either one of those cases it's a no-go okay it's a l okay it's a L period here. Clarify this not today. And this sword in the rose of truth. What is the truth you found out about this person? Yes, this person does not have a job. This person, I say this person uh, either bothers you while you're at work, okay? If you're the one that's working and you're trying to get a goal or something like that, they may pop up at, you know, your job. Somebody works at a coffee shop or something like that. And I don't know if your boyfriend just keep popping up or sitting there, sitting around. You're like, dude, could you got to do something? I'm like trying to get my shit together. I'm trying to like, yes, okay, Divine Feminine, this person. Uh, again, if you a sister with money or whatever, you just got your little sweet thing, whatever on the side, this nigga calling you, uh, at work, or you always see them on, uh, social media, anything like that. All right. Whenever you need them, they're always late. Yeah, somebody is childish. I just keep I just keep seeing this energy over and over again, uh, divine feminine. A ten and ten, yeah, you're done. Uh, you're done. A day late and a dollar short. Uh, you're tired of pleading with this person. Get together, get their shit together. Take life seriously. Take you seriously. Take goals seriously. Uh, whatever. I don't feel like their charm is enough, or whatever they're bringing. Uh, it, it ain't cute anymore. You know, a lot of high school energy. So if you dating somebody in high school and you're trying to maintain a GPA, or you know, you got your shit set up and you got your program and you know where you're going, and this person doesn't take school as seriously, or they don't take their job, or they don't take their life that seriously. So you know, they come bother you while you're working. Or why you're trying to progress towards you know a distraction basically okay a distraction basically and you're finally um picking up on this and realizing this okay after seeing a, a, a particular pattern here okay clarify their energy a stab in the back and chase it Heavy on this person stays on the internet a lot, okay? May play video games, all right? They may have a lot of animals. Maybe into designer, designer things. A lot of superficial things. Good for you. You finally came out and said, like, this person, when they come back, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I totally get it. Yeah, I totally understand why. Uh, you would think that and you would it, it's just like agreeing with everything that you said they're going to mirror you okay so if you're like you fucking this and you're this and you know I got an F on the last test and I missed my meeting and uh, because of you they're going to be like yeah sure but you're right you're, you're right did I do that oh my god I'm so sorry I didn't mean for that well I just wanted to see you or I just want like they will agree say whatever just to get back into your good graces 
with the intention of still doing the same shit okay this is a heavy user energy you are a source for them and money emotion uh whatever this is okay a strong social media influencer um uh influencer uh energy here also okay okay I can't believe humanity has survived countless wars of families for you to post some dumb. Yeah, like, like some, okay, somebody just, again, doesn't take uh, life seriously, all right? Um, somebody definitely has a problem with somebody's online or stalk somebody, uh, social media and has a comment or commentary on everything. This person probably stalks you, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash this. I don't know. Did you wash this person clothes? This person is washed. Okay. Uh, first of all, I know that. All right. This is they're washed and that's why they need, um, association, uh, with you. Okay. Why they don't want to release you and all that. Number two, I feel like they stalk your social media. They have a comment about everything you post, everything you say, everything you do. Uh, probably telling anybody who will listen, people in the neighborhood, or uh, if you're a high schooler, people in high school. Like you, this person always has your name uh, in their mouth, okay? Just behaving uh, recklessly. Um, and when they speak, they aren't uh, too smart. And it's just like, I feel like you look back at them and you're like, I can't even ever believe you know i was really interested in you are i wanted uh anything like what was i even uh fucking uh thinking here and and this nigga might be like you know what uh, you know what you're right i'm dumb i'm an idiot i'm a loser i'm this i'm that uh you want me to bring you some chicken you want me to bring you some wine can i come over <laughs> like they don't <laughs> you know it's not even funny but that's this person that's this person here accountability only as far as uh it gets them to be able to come back and get close proximity to you yes that's the word i was looking for proximity all right give me advice here for divine feminine here yes you're done with this nigga like this nigga is a headache a complete headache okay again and again even talking uh, with this person okay trying to figure out why are they like that it's like you know what um i'm done and someone is here only to uh literally uh pick your brain you have a lot of people that want to um pick your brain and you're done with that also here okay you're so enlightened here a lot of you are wise beyond your years and a lot of you are smarter than the people uh, that you entertain and hang out with and i feel like you're finally getting to a point to where you're going to be done with that also our king of wands here yeah, this person, they're going to come towards you again. They're going to chase you with all the passion, the, the, the fever, the, the vigor, uh, all of this here. You're looking lovely. You're looking beautiful. You're attending to yourself and all of that. All right. And you've done that because you put yourself first, because you love yourself first. They're looking to look at you, the iron gates. Look at the locks on the gates. Okay. All right. You set up. All right. You set up house. You're looking lovely. Okay. Foundation and all this that you built to yourself. That's why they don't want to let you go. It isn't necessarily about some love, even though they will say that. Uh, this ain't it here, but you have them on the other side for good reason. And I see you definitely maintaining of that all right some of you are going to surprise somebody uh by breaking up with them uh this weekend or maybe you broke up with them this weekend if you're married in a relationship here um you want to cut somebody's grip you might be serving somebody with divorce papers or something like that because you're just tired of uh having to look over your back and just finally getting up the guts to turn your uh back on this connection all right. Some of you feel like you're leaving it or need to leave it for the uh, sake of uh, a child here. Also moving, uh, moving residences here. OK, for some of you here. All right. Or this is what you need to do. OK, take your power back. All right. And not letting this person um, stir up your emotions. So you end up in the same place. Um, so you end up in the same place again here. All right. 
This isn't the first time that they've disappointed you. Um, and it won't be the last if, <laughs> if you let them back in here. Okay, you've been here before a thousand times and I feel like you are finally done. But this person, again, that doesn't mean that they're going, uh, that they're going to stop. But I feel like a lot of you have made up your mind for once and for all, once and for all that you are truly uh, done with this person. All right. All right, my feminine. That's what I have for you. Do me a favor. Like this video. Leave your comments below and let me know. Okay, uh, who this is. Okay, in regards to you, you can also book a personal reading. Um, all the information is in the bio. You can uh, love tips, donations, uh, sowing seeds, all that cash at PayPal below. I love you so much with the highest love. One.